Hey, welcome back guys. My name is Kui and if you don't know who I am, I like to build applications with other people and from the Coinbase community on the Coinbase blockchain. None of this is financial advice. Do not come to me for that. But here I am trying to give you more information about the Coinbase blockchain. I do hold coin tokens, so you have to understand I'm a little bit biased, but I will try to give you both the good side and the bad side so that you can make a decision. So last couple of videos I've talked about uh, what is up with the liquidity on Coinos and what is up with the market cap on Coinos. Today, I'm going to ask a and answer another question called, what is up with the claim on Coinos? The claim question comes up quite a bit because there's a nice little note if you go to CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko that says, hey, there is this thing called a claim event and people want to know what it is. So to go back in history, we have to first understand that Coin was released on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, sometime in uh, October 2020. And token was mineable through a POW miner. It's no longer mineable through a POW miner. You must mine it on mainnet now, which means that you have to go on the Coinbase blockchain rather than the Ethereum blockchain. But at this time, uh, the coin token had absolutely zero value, had zero purpose other than holding your mainnet tokens. And people were really excited about this token and it was heavily traded as a ERC-20 token. Again, at this time, mainnet did not launch yet. So people held the token on Ethereum, and at some point, there was an event called a snapshot. The snapshot, I believe, happened on Halloween. And I'm making this video on Halloween, uh, which means that uh, we're at our uh, snapshot anniversary, which occurred last year, didn't realize that. So on Halloween, of 2022, a snapshot occurred which took an image of every single wallet on the Ethereum blockchain that had coin. And mainnet was launched a couple days later, November 5th, which we will come up to pretty soon. Now, in order to get tokens on mainnet, you had to go through this process called claiming. And basically, if you had ERC20 coin back in 2022, before Halloween, you were including the snapshot which means you're eligible to claim coin tokens on mainnet. Now, the choice to do this was primarily because, I guess, I'm not part of the coins group, but I believe the primary reason was that if you perform a claim on mainnet, you paid zero fees to get your coin tokens. Whereas if you use other systems, um, such as bridges, or you have to send your coin to the special wallet token and then this and that, any of those other methods would have cost you extra money in Ethereum. And I think the group really firmly believe that it should cost you zero dollars to transfer your tokens, not transfer, but really claim your tokens from Ethereum uh, to mainnet. And so they used a snapshot method. A lot of people have decided not to claim yet. And so there are about, I think, 55% of 99.8 million tokens that have yet to been claimed. And the reason why those tokens haven't been claimed yet uh, from people who are in the Telegram and, and saying their reasons. Of course, we don't know how many tokens they hold and we don't have a general consensus of everyone's opinion. But the general reason is that most people aren't claiming because A, they don't need to claim. B, it's more secure on the Ethereum blockchain if they don't want to manage or deal with Coinless wallets. And lastly, there's no hardware support. And so if you claim your tokens right now and you have nothing to do with them, then you're forced to either use one of the software wallets such as Kanio, Porto, uh, MKW, although MKW is not really being uh, continuously used anymore, Condor, very popular one, uh, or you use Change Finance uh, or a centralized exchange wallet, which I highly recommend you don't do that. But if you use any of those wallets, then you have to now manage the private keys to those wallets. Whereas if you're already an Ethereum user, you don't have to do anything. And so these three reasons, although some might say these are actually two reasons, will say that, well, there's no really big point in claiming. And so they've remained unclaimed. Now, at any given time, people can claim these tokens and they can suddenly increase the token supply of coin from its current number, uh, which is about anywhere between 30 to 40 million tokens, depending on who you're asking. Again, look at my video about what is up with the market cap of Coinos for that. But at any given time, the amount of coin token can suddenly increase to 99 million. And those people can just sell those tokens. But obviously, these are statements that are made in a way where the assumption is negative. Maybe they're claiming the tokens because all of a sudden, the 
the applications on the Coinbase blockchain were really, really cool. Maybe there was a way to monetize their holdings without selling. There's a whole bunch of reasons why someone would claim, and there's also a whole bunch of reasons why somebody would never claim. They may have lost their keys, and they were included in Snapshot, but they actually no longer have any access to that wallet. And so, how does this impact whether or not you decide to buy coin? It is the primary question that I think a lot of people are asking because they're wondering what's gonna happen with that unclaimed stash. Well, rest assured, whether or not it's claimed or unclaimed, the fact is that it's a very simple process to claim. It may take you 30 seconds to claim your tokens. It costs you nothing. Uh, so as long as you qualify for the claiming process, you can claim it, move it on to exchange, and dump it at almost any given time. So I look at it as just as liquid as tokens that are claimed. Now, the inflation of the Coinbase blockchain is set at 2%. And I'm bringing this up because it's 2% of the total amount of coin out there. The only thing that claim really impacts is the total amount of coin out there in existence, and it impacts block rewards for node operators. If you're not operating a node, not that big of a deal to you. Um, but nonetheless, the amount of coin that are being generated through mining rewards uh, every single day um, is fixed at a 2% yearly rate. It's just a 2% of what? And whether or not this impacts you as a buyer, personally, it doesn't impact uh, myself because the idea that they can come online and be sold at any given time, it's a real um, you know, possible event, but very, very unlikely event because as you see in my other video, what is up with liquidity? There's not a whole lot of liquidity right now. If 44 million coin into the market, the price would tank down to, uh, to you know pennies. However, you can do that right now with just maybe 1 million coin. A bunch of people can just get angry at Coinos and just sell it all, and it would tank the price because liquidity is so low. So not a real big concern of mine, uh, but you, as someone who may not hold coin, may want to think about that and take into consideration if that impacts you as a long-term holder. Good day. I hope you enjoy this video.